Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing a really cool problem in linear algebra, it's a pretty fun one actually. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to try to find the matrix A. Instead of being given matrix A, you're going to be given eigenvalues and eigenvectors and their corresponding values. And you're going to find the matrix that it came from. It's like working backwards. So here's an example. You're given um, that the matrix A has eigenvalue negative uh, 2 with corresponding eigenvector 1, 1, and then you have the second eigenvalue, 7, with corresponding eigenvector 2, 3. So what's the matrix? Okay, well, um, you should know that the matrix A can be written um, in this form, and lambda in the center there um, can be expressed by the diagonalization of the eigenvalues. So we'll start um, by writing S as the eigenvectors and combining those two, so S can be combined into a single matrix from the eigenvectors. So we got 1, 1, and 2, 3. We just combine them in together into one matrix. And like I said, the lambda is the diagonalization of the eigenvalues. So you just put the eigenvalues on the main diagonal. Make sure they correspond correctly. It's a common mistake. Um, so eigenvalue 1 and the eigenvector 1 should be written first um, and then 2. So then you have that. Now we got to find S inverse. Well, S inverse uh, can be written like this, so if you have matrix A, A, B, C, D, um, the shortcut for finding an inverse of a matrix is as follows. Take one over the determinant and flip the main diagonal and use opposite sides on B and C values. So, did that over here, um, one over the determinant, so 3 times 1 minus 2 times 1. Um, and then we flip-flop the values around there. Now that's just 1 over 1 times S, so, uh, or the... Uh, modification of s, so we'll just write that there as s inverse. And now all you got to do is multiply them all together, because look, a is equal to s lambda s inverse. So um, I went ahead and multiplied these two out for us, so s times lambda. So remember, row times column, basic matrix multiplication here, check your work. And then you multiply by s inverse, and um, so why don't we do, why don't we do some practice? So we get negative 6 minus 14, and then we'll have 4 plus 14, negative 6 minus 21, 4 plus 21, and that would give us matrix A, which is negative 20, 18, negative 27, 25. And there you go, you found matrix A. Hope this was a helpful video. Good luck and happy studying.